So, Patrick, you and I were in the UK, um, I guess it was uh, last year at this point. Yeah. And uh, we were doing a talk, and one of the things which you talked about to retailers was um, some of the techniques you employed in creating a low-maintenance system in our, our DLI test setup. And since then, it looks like you've actually started, you, you liked it so much. Yeah, we're converting all our tanks over, yeah. <laughs> So originally we used to use just pieces of egg crate to lift our corals up, keep them off the ground so that the detritus would settle underneath. Uh, the downside was that we would have to move the racks or lift them out and siphon out of them on a regular basis, usually once a week to keep our detritus out of the tank. And, and uh, you, not, you have to get that detritus out so your corals, especially your right. racos, don't it's color labor. down. So it's just very labor intensive. Uh, and, and we went through a few iterations and then on the core labs we basically uh, started taking PVC and uh, we did one inch racks with half inch feet going down and we made just a rack about 50% of the way up in the tank and now we have cut pieces of acrylic that just sit on top. It's very basic. We tried doing uh, cut pieces of egg crate, sorry. Mm -hmm. We tried doing uh, solid acrylic on top originally because we thought well the egg crate, if, flow, if the flow is pushing under the rack then the egg crate is always perpendicular to the flow, so it's going to cut down your flow a lot. We originally had the, the racks, you know, we have them halfway up, we put the acrylic on top, but the problem we had with the acrylic being on top was uh, we would get detritus settling on top a lot. So the flow pushes under the tank, pushes all the detritus off the bottom, gets the detritus into suspension, but then it would curl over and it would just settle on top of the on rack. On the flat acrylic. On the flat acrylic. Gotcha. So we went back to the egg crate and because there's egg crate there, we typically leave a small space between uh, our plates. This tank has a lot of four inch tiles in it for culturing. We found if we leave about one square of egg crate between the different plates, the, the detritus won't settle on top of the plates as much. It'll actually It'll go, go down and in and between. Get, get and cycling. then it can stay in suspension and then go down the overflow. And since we started doing this, we don't clean the bottom of these tanks at all anymore. Wow. Occasionally, probably about once a week, we have to spend about three to four minutes. There'll be a little bit of a dead zone on one side there where maybe a tiny little pile of detritus will settle around, you know, four inches. But, but something easy to siphon out. And, and so, it's accessible. So are these, is this tank design custom or is this a standard in terms of the actual tank with the overflow at the end? These are, these are pretty standard tank that you'd see in most stores. These ones are 42 inches by 8 feet long by 12 inches deep. So the rack sits, uh, I think, 5 and a half inches high because the overflow is at 11 inches tall. It's a coast-to-coast -coast overflow on the end. Two holes drilled in the end and just flowing down to the bottom. And that just goes to a and yeah, that just cryptic, goes to the cryptic sump. Gotcha. Yep, we have it going to a filter sock, which, you know, some days we think they're fantastic and other days we hate them. So uh, you can use them or not, right? But it's a great way to trap your detritus and, and take it out. And is there anything special about the Vortec placement? It's not exactly the same, right? On either side, you've got one, two, three, four, five, or, I'm sorry, six we along We have six here. on the tank here. So it's actually one unit of space here, two units, two units, two units, two units, two units, one unit. Okay. And uh, our, our theory was then they were more evenly spaced as they go across the tank. We have them on a lower setting right now. Uh, right now I think they're running at around 50%. They're not at 100%. And that is so that as our colonies grow larger and they start to fill in, we can turn them up and we can stop the detritus from forming anywhere, stop it from settling gotcha. anywhere. So just on, keep the on this cleaner. setup, you don't have them on the other side as well. You just have the six. Just on this one side. And you're basically getting a flow. Yep. And actually, it's more like a corkscrew because the water is working its way that way. That's I gotcha. right. And we have these all connected to our reef link. They go on to nutrient export mode. And so the whole tank starts swaying all over when it goes into nutrient export mode. And you see it kicking up all the detritus and then you see it going down the overflow. Over here, you, you had, was there a reason why on the, uh, on the DLI tanks you actually have two on this side as well, or is that just That was something we actually had to add a little bit later in the test, and it was because the colony started growing so large that they were just choking the flow down entirely. We had a lot of pieces that were, because we weren't able to touch them for over a year, uh, they were completely touching the surface for you yeah. know, 18 to 20 inches and just choking out the flow gotcha. and smothering things out. So we added a couple on this side, but it's really not preferable. And, so, and, that's, and that's true, right? On a, on a frag setup like you were running in a retail store, you wouldn't actually need that. You would never need you, that in a retail gotcha. store. In fact, you wouldn't want it because you'd want to have colonies like this. And if you put a pump over on that side and had it pointing directly at these pieces, you would just blow them over. 
and there's them. lots and lots and lots of flow. You can see some of the Montes here still grow right out of the water surface, uh, even with the flow that's going across here. And you can see it rippling around here. Gotcha. One of the other big advantages on this type of flow setup is that the water looks relatively still. So when your customer comes in and goes, hey, I want to buy a coral, you don't have to get out the picture viewer and move it over the coral no, to see true. what's it's in amazingly, here. Um, it's, it's, it's amazingly, it's very linear placid flow. given how much water movement is actually going on there. Yep, it's That's very, very cool. linear flow. So you can come up and you're, instead of having to shut the flow off or get a picture viewer, your customer can come over, they can see all your corals, they can see what looks really, really nice now and it makes them very easy for them to shop. So you've eliminated all your maintenance for cleaning the bottom of your tank. You don't even have to scrape it down. Uh, watch out for dictyota forming on the bottom would be the only thing. And if you get that, you got to scrape it up. Uh, but otherwise, you've eliminated all your maintenance on the underside of the tank. You can put in big tanks into here. So a nice naso tank to help keep the tank clean would be fantastic. Uh, your customers can walk in. They can see all the pieces from the top where they look the nicest. Make it easy for them to buy them. No picture viewer required. What else do you want? Yep. Perfect setup. Yep, seems like if I was going to set up a frag system, I would set this up myself. Yeah. We've had a few stores that have actually replicated this, replicated the Coral Lab oh, setting really? here. Already? Yeah, already, just Very from seeing cool. it here, and they're all like, yeah, this is fantastic. This is great, because nobody wants to sit there and scrape tanks all day. We all want to geek out and play with our coral. Well, I'll put your email address on the bottom of this <laughs> video, so, so if people have any questions, they can contact you. Perfect, Excellent. thanks, Jay. <laughs> you're, you're very welcome. <laughs> thanks, Patrick. <laughs> Great, great tip right there for uh, setting up a frag system in, yeah. your, in your retail store.